Welcome friends to Cesar SOS. I am Cesar Milan, the dog behavior expert, here to break down the struggles that you, the viewers, are having with your own dogs. We've been getting tons of Instagram videos with the hashtag Cesar SOS. There is one that I really want to share with you. Meet Legacy, the Pitbull. I love pit bulls and I know this pit bull so well. One of my dogs, his name is Junior, and he acts pretty much the same way. Obviously, my dog has rules, boundaries, and limitations, and I always ask people to do no touch, no talk, no eye contact. This is a classical example of a dog who was born to be happy-go-lucky. So what we need to do with a dog that is happy-go-lucky, naturally excited, naturally enjoy life, naturally he wants to play with everything, wants to meet every single human in the world, every single dog in the world, every single cat in the world, every single tree in the world, that's all they want to do with life. So what they have to learn, they have to learn to not touch, talk, or give eye contact. How do they accomplish that is the humans actually have to practice no touch, no talk, no eye contact until that pit bull calms down, then they can greet them or play with them. It's very simple to change this state of mind. It's all about teaching the dog to be more zen-like than excited-like. So no touch, no talk, no eye contact. I'm gonna show you a, a tool that I invented, actually invented because of Junior, and I call it the pack leader collar. Pack leader collar means direction protection. I wanna make sure that my dog has good direction. So in order for you to have a good direction with your dog, the leash have to be all the way in the top of the neck. So this part right here, it's almost like a training wheels for people, so that so that, that way the leash is stay all the way in the top of the neck. The top of the neck is gonna be the most sensitive, easiest way to guide a dog. That's why in a dog show, the leash is always at the top of the neck. What you do with that is you control the nose right away from the ground and a dog wants to move forward, you just slightly pull up. So that makes the dog stay in that place and practice more relaxation than anything else. So you're actually using less physical effort by using this color than the, the, the other traditional colors. Make sure to check in with us and let us know if you and Legacy found this helpful. And if you or someone you know need some canine advice, drop us a video on Instagram with the hashtag CesarSOS. Thank you for joining me. I am Cesar Milan. Until next time.